weekend today for a backcountry day off Ferrano Ski Resort. I sent you a message this morning about whether you snowshoe yeah. or split. I mean, it's up yeah. to you. I it's, brought both. It's going to be steep. Oh, what? So you're going to... I brought both. No, I'm not going to carry both. Take and take uh, the snowshoes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. Uh, they'll be carrying too much gear, so... Well, maybe... Uh, I'll, sn split, I'll split, or... split challenge. Yeah, split challenge. Yeah, I, I know so more. It's going to be, practice, it's gonna be steep. steep um... I don't like the switchback, so steep switchbacks can kill me. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I need a shorter split board so I can actually swing my legs around a lot easier. You, you need to be thing. flexible here. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might be better off in split mode. Yeah. And just shuffling out. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't need to put on skins. Oh, and okay. then yeah. And then ride down here. You know this short little spot. Yeah. Northeast line, yeah, and then yeah. skinny back up for another line, maybe you know, along the the previous lines I've done. Here. Yeah, okay, awesome. Yeah. Oh, the one, oh, can you show? Oh, that's the one, yes, okay. Hi, I'm going to go to the good, but. Can they not be strict about policing who goes out there without Abbey gear and stuff? So. Yeah, I mean, when I first arrived in Ferrana 15 years ago, I had a meeting with the ski area manager. And during that meeting, he said, yeah, we'll let you go out of the boundaries. Yeah. Right? And the first time I went to patrol yeah. that very office down yeah. there, and I wasn't just yeah. going to go out without right. telling them. Yeah. They said, no, sorry, you can't. <laughs> and I said, no, Iga-san hadn't mentioned anything, but you know, I had a meeting with him and he said that I could take customers out. Yeah. And they said, sorry, no, you're not going out. <laughs> so I, I had to say, well, you mind just giving Iga-san a call? Yeah. And so they reluctantly gave him a call. Yeah. And he said, yeah, I, <laughs> I gave him the okay. And I mean, these guys weren't happy. How it worked out for the next few years is I would drop in there. Yeah. And <laughs> they never liked me showing up because it was right. like, ah, oh, you know, we have to show him out. So they would escort oh, me really? up to the top here. Yeah. And the, the patroller would literally lift the rope yeah. for me and customers to go under the rope. Yeah. And then you know i guess that was a way of preventing anyone else going out yeah we couldn't skin out from there they want us wanted us to boot pack to behind a tree <laughs> so that no one could see us sort of skiing off actually yeah no i've been asked that as well yeah <laughs> from head office <laughs> saying hey we're we're cha totally changing the policy take down the ropes um you know we're targeting the western market who yeah. want to ski out in the trees okay and skiing out of bound is all of a sudden not dangerous anymore wow <laughs> so hence the, the whole gate system our first bit of down for the day the powder looks good So now for the uphill. You you got to be careful doing changeovers here in Hokkaido because the the snow is is just super light and fluffy, and so if you even just spin drift on the um, on the skins, you know by the time you've done your second or third changeover, you know they're not sticking as right. well. Ken is Doctor Strange glove. <laughs> Look at those gloves, Doctor Strange Ooh. glove. <laughs> I was looking at them thinking they do not look breathable at all, but apparently they are quite breathable. Yeah, yeah, no, these are from the local hardware store and now ski shops are stocking them. K2 are trying to uh, get these brand guys it? to, yeah, brand it basically, yeah. So, okay, and yeah. how much do they cost? Uh, about 
4,000 yen, so okay. yeah, super cheap. cheap. So a lot of the, I find a lot of backcountry people are starting to use these, yeah, right? You'll see. Nice. Um, yeah. This hair tracks. Apparently the hairs here, they have hind legs of around 30 centimeters just to give them flotation in the deep powder. I guess like snowshoes, having big feet gives you flotation. Still a little bit of bamboo grass. I'm actually on the windward side of this ridge here, which makes sense. So it's been a little bit like sapling city, eh? <laughs> yeah, bush bashing. Bush, yeah, we say bush bashing in Australia. <laughs> Yuffie Kai, eh? On a giddy or rice ball, actually a way of opening this up so the seaweed stays on the rice ball. And you can notice on the packet that there's numbers one, two, three. So you want to start with one first. And you pull down on, kind of break the plastic, pull on one. And you. the key is to take it all the way around. So now you've got two and you just kind of ease, ease off that plastic. Oh God, I think I've failed here. Not failed, but oh no, I've done okay. Three, just ease it off. And there we go, we've got the rice ball still wrapped in the seaweed. Bugger sprayed me. My turn. Well, it was so good that we've decided to do another quick skin up. How you feeling, Ken? Yeah, good. <laughs> You get these glide cracks happening quite early in the season in Japan and Hokkaido and essentially it's the snowpack sliding down on the bamboo grass. So our second ascent, we're not going all the way to the top because we found it a little bit of a wind press layer um, up high so we are de-skinning kind of three quarters of the way up. Binding setup you have? Uh, these are sparks bindings. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I was, I don't know. They're supposed to be some of the uh, some of the best bindings around. I've done a little bit of split boarding years ago. This would be actually 20 years ago now. Back then there was a Burton system that yeah. was really funky. You'd have to carry around a brush, and it would take quite a while to clean it you could actually stick it on to the the binding attachment okay and one time i was snowboarding down and i mustn't have cleaned it so well right right and suddenly my front foot just flew out of the binding <laughs> yeah the, with the binding on it <laughs> Creek, El Nino year. Fun and games getting across here. Yeah. Woo, baby! Is that the highway, Ken? Yeah. Down the back country, <laughs> expressway. We're in the home straight. <laughs> we found the back country highway where everyone's come from the resort.